All right. Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome to another episode of How to Draw Anything. My name is Lynn. I work for the San Mateo County Library System. You may recognize my face from the Belmont branch or maybe from the other art streams that we've been doing. And I am joined by... Hi, everybody. My name is Debbie. I also work for San Mateo County Libraries, and you would normally find me at the Millbury branch. All right. Today's going to be a little bit of a throwback. So... Debbie is going to be leading the majority of today's episode because if you caught us very early in the beginning of our uh, episodes that we were sharing with you, Debbie showed us how to make a comic book using one single piece of paper. So we thought we would make a episode just dedicated purely to how to do that and do a little highlight run of some of the comics that we've made previously together on past episodes with the characters we made up. <laughs> we, and, Debbie has a lot. <laughs> she did well, most of them. <laughs> I made a bunch. Yes. Um, I have my one. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, was, I, do love, I do love my one. I'm very I do one. love that one, too. Um, yeah, if you ever, you know, if you want to see, like, what these are kind of about, they're just, um, if you haven't seen our past episodes, they're just little mini comics, again, made from one sheet of paper. And we featured, you know, uh, a bunch of these comics on, on previous episodes of How to Draw Anything. Um, so, yeah. Ooh, Joe Flash. I like that. Yeah, we well, have a playlist. You can marathon through them. Yes. Um, <laughs> and, I love sparkles. Yeah. <laughs> and these, Betty. Yeah, Betty's a very tired Yeti. That was, that was actually one of my proudest ones. No, um, <laughs> these are all, like, past characters that Lynn and I had made together mm -hmm. on, on the spot. And then we made a comic about them too. So, um, so it's just fun to to make these little short stories um, and to develop the characters that we actually made um, together. Mm -hmm. So, like Lynn said, we're going to be make um, showing you again how to make a comic with one sheet of paper. So, if you want to play along, um, everybody get your supplies. And the first thing you're going to need is just one sheet of paper. And I just have a regular eight and a half by 11. Mm -hmm. And then you're also gonna need scissors, one pair of scissors. And that's all you're really gonna need to do this. Mm -hmm. No staples, no glue, what? <laughs> it's super convenient. <laughs> it is. So, okay, so first thing we're gonna do is fold your sheet of paper. I'm gonna fold it the hamburger way, which is, I forgot, how do you describe this? Uh, connecting the two short ends together. There you go. All right. So, here's my folded sheet of paper. I like to, like, crease those edges just to make it nice and crisp. Okay, next thing we're going to do is fold it again, hamburger way again. So, again, matching up those short, the short end edges of the paper. Had to check myself on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now your paper should look like this, right? Okay, what do you think we're gonna do next, Lynn? I think we're gonna fold it. That's correct. <laughs> we're gonna fold it again, and again we're gonna do another hamburger fold, matching up those short, short edges of the paper. The more times you fold it, the harder it is. It is. So it's make sure you get those creases in. It'll help in the long run. If you got nails, use your nails. If you don't have nails, you can like kind of smash it with a pen on the table. Yeah, you I know. do not have nails, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm just pinching very hard. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't get a paper cut. Be careful. Okay, so now your paper should look like it's this size. But what we're going to do now is we're going to open it all up. And you should have a sheet of paper that looks like this. It's mm -hmm. divided into eight sections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now what we're going to do is fold that piece of paper. Let's see. We're going to fold it hamburger one more time. And this is kind of the tricky part. I usually like to um, um, make sure you know that this is like a this is like a V shape now, right? V shape. Mm -hmm. 
folded side on the bottom, open side on the top. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut that bottom from the bottom edge. And you'll see that center line. We're gonna cut from this bottom edge right to the center and then we're gonna stop. Okay, so right. then we're gonna cut starting from the folded edge and cut along that center line straight up into the center. And then we're gonna stop. So now your paper should, yeah, it's got legs like <laughs> linen. <laughs> it's just great. <crazy. laughs> it's like, it turns into a puppet, huh? <laughs> no. mm -hmm. Okay. You can also just stop here and just That's be okay. true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to open up the sheet of paper. And now you notice there should be like kind of like a, a hole in the middle, like a slit, right? That's perfect. That's, that's uh, what you want to see. So now what we're going to do is fold it hot dog. So yes. fold it. two long ends together this time. Mm -hmm. Fold it. Hot dog, long ends together. That's the first hot dog um, fold we've done. Oops, I think I folded it wrong. Sorry, I'm going to fold it this way. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to just hold it on the edges here and I'm going to kind of angle it towards you where you kind of see like this diamond shape. That's what you want to see, right? Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna squish the diamond, smash, <laughs> right? I'm gonna kind of demonstrate it one more time because it's like it's a little tricky. Again, we're gonna uh, hold it just so, like with our fingers on the edge, and then we're gonna squish that diamond. Squish. And then all we have to do is just fold it again. Fold along those creases. And ta-da! You actually have your comic book now. Look at, check it out. This is a cover, then you can draw inside here, and you got more pages to draw in, and even more pages to draw in. So you've got a blank comic. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, you can fill it with whatever you want. <laughs> You can, you can make a, well, you don't even have to make a comic. You can make it a journal. You can make it a zine. You can put address book. You can make it an address book, put phone numbers in it, whatever you mm -hmm. want. Um, a letter to your mom. <laughs> On several it. tiny little squares of paper. <laughs> <laughs> but now you have this little book shape. And we all, we just did it without any glue, staples, string, mm -hmm. just a pair of scissors and paper. Ta-da! <laughs> Job, Even everybody. the scissors are theoretically optional. If you tear it very, very carefully at that one step. That's true. That's true. So, Lynn, I hear that you made a new mini comic uh, over the weekend. I did. Would, would you like to share your comic with us? Sure. So, I was trying to think of something to do a comic about. And I figured since I think it was last week, I got to do the character creation challenge and made my own character that I would do a comic loosely based on that. Ooh. So it did end up being a little bit spooky, <laughs> it, a little bit like fairy tale folky, yeah. <laughs> but I had fun with it. So <laughs> I can't wait to see. And it's just black and white because I didn't quite have time to color. So hopefully it's readable. <laughs> Mm. So, if you go walking in the woods, you may find yourself lost. Look for the trail of flowers. Twigs can be identified by their rounded horns and their glowing eyes. Fear not. Twigs are kind creatures. They only wish to see you safely home. But do try not to get lost again. Oh, that's so awesome, Lynn. <laughs> I love it. That's the character yeah. that we made last week, right? Yeah. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, we made our little pseudo foxy tails. 
friend right, who right. was collecting flowers in a dark forest and had glowing yeah. eyes. <laughs> that was so cool. I like seeing yeah. I like seeing the character and its environment and mm -hmm. see it come alive in the comic. Yeah, I had fun with that one. I haven't played with just black and white inks for a while, so I love trying to dip back into that. It's beautifully illustrated too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's so nice. That's so cool. Can you open it um, up oh, all yeah. the way? So you'll notice how Lynn's, that's um, all of Lynn's drawings on one side mm -hmm. of the um, sheet of paper. So what she could do now, if she wanted to, she can take that um, whole sheet of paper and she can copy mm -hmm. it. She can either scan it or take it to a copy machine. And could she, she can make multiple copies of this comic and distribute it to her friends. I want a copy. <laughs> <laughs> I will have to figure out if my computer is even connected to my dad's scanner. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, so you can just scan it into your computer and you can print out multiple copies and just do the whole folding and cutting uh, once again. And you just squish it right back into shape and you keep it as a little book mm -hmm. for yourself. Great job. That's so awesome. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I think that's all we have for today. Thank you for joining us and we hope that you learned um, how to make a, a one sheet comic and we hope mm -hmm. you had fun with it. Um, you should also share your one sheet comics uh, yeah. with, uh, with us. Um, you yeah, can, if you make one, feel free. We'd love to see them. You can tag your drawings on social media at SMCL, or sorry, SMC Libraries on uh, Facebook. It's a tricky one to say. It is. <laughs> uh, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, or you can use the hashtag SMCL Creates. And just share it with us, and we hope we would like to see what kind of comics you come up with, um, and maybe we can share it on a on a future episode of How to Draw Anything. That was very cool. And just remember, you can always go to smcl.org to to check out the entire schedule of all the great virtual programs that we have. Um, almost every almost every day, we have several programs yeah. uh, going on. You know from uh what what we have like a uh, musical story times mm -hmm. regular we story go. times we got lots of story times we've got um i don't remember the exact schedule of these but they are all programs we've got esl classes we've got mango languages we've got our steam camp that's still going strong with uh i believe the pattern is two brand new different steam camp activities for you each day mm -hmm. Uh, and then also remember, um, we have the Summer Learning Challenge going on right now. You can go to summerlearners.org if you want to sign up for the Summer Learning Challenge and um, win a chance to uh, win, sorry, earn a chance to win a $1,000 scholarship. Yeah, that's going on all the way through August, so there's plenty of time to still slide on in. And part of your learning, you know, one of your learning tasks you just learned one. You made it. You learned how to make a one sheet comic. So you can put that in your log and it'll count. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So thank you all for joining us for another episode of How to Draw Anything. Um, you know, be sure to check back with us next week for our next episode. And we hope you yeah, have a great day. For, yeah, thanks for tuning in. See ya. Bye. Bye.